Hey everyone, this is Alex from Polymomo Tea, and today I have a video showing you how to make these cute little water squishies. And yes, it's been a long time, but I'm back, and hopefully, I have more videos for you in the future. But for now, let's just enjoy these little cute little miniature water squishies that I made. So first we're going to make the little polymer clay charms inside. So we're going to start with the egg. We're going to take some yellow clay and flatten it out into a pancake shape for the yolk. And we want to give it some dot eyes. And a line smile. Man, it feels good to say that after a long time. Next, we're going to take a kiwi slice, um, well it's a cane that I made for a previous video. I can link the video in the description box below, but we're just going to cut out a couple slices and I'm going to use the best slice to put in the middle. Next, we're going to make an ocean sunfish or a mola mola fish. So we're going to take some white clay and pinch it into a rounded triangle shape. And we're going to do the same thing with the blue clay. And with our polymer clay blade, we're going to cut it at two thirds and one third. So we're going to add those two pieces together. And just shape it up a little bit more. And on the tips, we're going to add two little triangles for the fins. And a little cylinder of clay at the end and we're going to use our blade to make a couple of little edge marks. And we're going to give it a dot eye. And a little yellow pancake for the mouth. And we're going to poke a little hole with our dotting tool to make the mouth opening. And then for the final polymer clay charm, we're going to make a little strawberry. So I'm going to take some pink clay and pinch it into a flattened teardrop shape. Then using the fattest dotting tool that I have, we're going to make a giant circular indent. And inside the little indent, we're going to add some light yellow clay and that'll be the little face. And I'm using my little star mold because I was a little lazy and we're going to place some green clay in there and cut off the excess. This is going to be the little green leaf stem part of the strawberry, which we'll place on the bottom. And on the little yellow part, we're going to give it some dot eyes and a line smile. Once fully baked, we have our four little pieces and we're ready to make our little squishies. So the main important material is this double-sided silicone tape. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a little piece out and place our little clay charm in the middle and then fold it over. And next we're just going to press around it, keeping one little bit open. Next we're going to take some scissors and cut off kind of the excess, the uneven parts. I have a little syringe and this is a craft syringe. What we're going to do is place some water inside, place on our little needle tip. And we're going to put the needle inside the little opening of the silicone tape and we're going to close off the other end. And once it's nice and tight, we're going to take off the top layer of the silicone tape. And I'm just going to fuse the ends together using my heat gun. I have the loudest and most obnoxious design heat gun ever. And then with my fingers, I'm just going to pinch the ends together, making sure it's fully closed. And then we're going to pump it full of water. And look at that. It looks so cool. It's very satisfying just to see it expand like that. But. This one, it was kind of weird shaped. It has like, I don't know, the egg has just a really big brain or something like that. So it looked a little bit weird, but it was pretty cool to see it. So I would say this is a fail. So what I did was I took my scissors, popped it, and took out the egg yolk so we can try again.
And then we did our second attempt. Added some more water into it. And it was doing well at first, but then it kind of became another big brain moment. So I ended up cutting this one up too. But it was nice and squishy. So this is the third time. Third time's always the charm. What I did differently was I added a little bit of water into the slow cone tank and it kind of stuck pretty well. And we finally have a nice circle shape. Nice. So with my scissors, I'm just cutting around the excess little bits of the tape. And we have our nice little squishy egg. And we're just gonna do that again with the other three clay charms. So what I did was I dabbed some water onto the silicone tape, placed on our charm, and then added a little bit more water right before we completely sealed it. So I added a little bit of water first, then I sealed it completely. Then using the scissors, I just cut off the ends, and when you cut it off, it kind of blends the little tape pieces together, which is nice. And I use my heat gun just to seal it up extra nice. Because if we don't seal it up, it will slowly kind of like stretch out and it's going to open again. And then we're going to pump in our water. And we have a nice beautiful oval shape. We don't have any more big brain shapes, so that's good. And for the final touch, we're just going to use our scissors just to cut off the excess. And next, we're going to repeat the same steps with our strawberry. I don't know how it happened, but it was kind of strawberry shaped when I pumped in the water. It's not like a perfect circle, it's kind of more diamond-like. It kind of looks like a strawberry to me. And I think that works out just fine. And finally, we just do the same thing with our little kiwi slice. I actually had a lot of fun making these. Um, and I was literally squishing them for so long. If you wait to watch the end of the video, I have like a whole straight minute of me just squishing them over and over again. So here's the final product and it was actually really fun to make and I loved making these little squishies. They are super squishable and I was able to squish them without worrying about it breaking, but over time it did break just because the adhesive started to separate. But you know what? It was a few good hours of squishing before it broke. I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the rest of the video of me just squishing it. And thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comment section below which squishy that you liked the best. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.